Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, hi Mr. Cast. I'm here in the nether. Uh, this is the nether tunnel that goes down to the witch farm is right there and uh, everything else is back that way pretty much I think everything else is back that way so we'd sort of gone over the different directions we could go and this seemed to be the easiest opportunity was just to go this way so right here <clears throat> I'm at X 160 ish uh, so we're about 160 blocks away from uh, the community portal that's roughly at zero x and so we're gonna go down this way and i've been doing a bunch of digging i've been doing a bunch of work so this is a long walk That's a long tunnel and I've got one little oh zombie Pikmin right there hi buddy you're gonna be a pain in my butt so this is a long long tunnel we're here at about X 1000 right here boop that's there we go so the goal here which I think I mentioned okay you stay out of my way dude is I want to be able to explore the new, uh, where'd he go? Oh, hi, you can stay back there. I'm okay with that. Yeah, uh, I, I wanna be able to explore the new stuff in 1.13. And I think 1.13 is coming out soon. Uh, so right now it is the end of June. I think I will get this up on uh, to today or tomorrow. Um, that's the plan, and because uh, I'm going on vacation, and I'm going to be out of range of anything that can really help me out with. Uh, oh, I can't open that up there. But there with you is dude still back there. Dude is still back there. What's in here? I've got some stuff all laid out. Let's do this. So we will we will uh, I'll be up I'll be out of town for about a week. So I'm hoping they don't release 1.13 while I am uh, in in Portland over the July 4th holiday. Uh, they've done five pre-releases now. So they did pre-release five this week. Honestly, I, I can't imagine that they're not going to try and release it super soon. But uh, July 4th, I mean, they could do it. They're not they're not from the US. So, uh, so they could do it. Um, I don't know that that would be, I don't know. Uh, I hope they don't do it while I'm up in, in, in Portland because I won't be able to do what I need to in order to update the server uh, for for 1.13. I mean, I can do it, but I won't be able to test anything. And we've got some functions that are running and enough of the command block functionality has changed in terms of syntax and whatnot that I'm very concerned that things will not work as is with 1.13 and that I'll have to spend some time troubleshooting the uh, the command blocks or the, the functions that we got installed. I may just have to disable them uh, for the time being. Hang on a second. Why is the air conditioning on?
There we go. <clears throat> Sorry about the noise. It'll turn itself off shortly. So anyway, um, I might do a couple things in the meantime to help out with that, but I won't be able to actually test it. I don't think I have any way of actually testing uh, one of the snapshots on the server without screwing everything up. And uh, I don't want to. I don't want to just switch to 1.13 without testing stuff. So I may have to leave it on 1.12 for a little bit while I get all that stuff sorted out. Hello, lava pocket. There you go. So anyway, um, I don't know if they would take. I don't know if Microsoft would suggest. You know, maybe doing it during a holiday week. Not such a great idea if you want immediate sort of feedback from YouTube people and whatnot. I don't know how much that is important to them. It might not be very important at all. So anyway, this is what I'm doing to, to build the tunnel. I'm just going and putting lighting up here so that I can see what's going on. And then I'm slabbing the floor so that nothing can spawn in here. Little dude there spawned in the wrong place. <laughs> there was one little spot where he could spawn and he decided to spawn there. Uh, I am getting a ton of netherrack out of all this, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I'm smelting that to get bricks from which I will make slabs and then I will continue my slapping the nether efforts but that's another sort of long-term prospect project uh, I don't have a whole lot else going on uh, work has been shall we say interesting Come on. Um, I can't talk about it too much but Oh, I need more bricks. Unfortunately, the world is made out of stone. <laughs> so that makes making all the stone bricks we need pretty darn cheap. And the nether is made out of nether rack. So I can go and generate as much nether rack as I need. And I've got my big old smelter at the witch farm. So that's, uh, that's cool. So I can make another brick as much as I want. And yeah, I don't know how far I'm going to take this because I know we have to get past areas where people have already explored and I haven't, I haven't gone and explored like, you know, tens of thousands of blocks out, but I, but I think other people have, oops. So right now, thousand blocks out. Uh, positive. I'm at a positive, positive thousand X. So if I if I set up a portal right here, it would put us out at eight thousand X, eight thousand X, uh, which is pretty far out. But I don't I don't know that it's far enough. So I'm going to take this farther, like maybe twice as far. And then I need to put down rails on this walkway because it, you, you, I can't I can't walk down the whole thing. I certainly can't run down the whole thing without having to eat, and that's that's a little uh, obnoxious. But we'll uh, oh, so I'll get some rails in there. I've got a bunch of powered rails, and I've got a bunch of glowstone from glowstone blocks from the witch farm, of course. So. That's easy enough. Um, I'm doing this in little bits like this so that things don't spawn behind me. And, and leaving a little step up here so that if I accidentally dig into some lava here, I have a safe place to stand. And the lava can flood down here, I don't care. And if it burns up some netherrack blocks, who cares? All right. So, one, two, three, four, pop. And the light doesn't really help with preventing zombie pigment from spawning. 
but it does help being able to see things. So the the slabbing is there for the, the zombie pigmen. And also other creatures. Uh, it'll be it's the the walkway or the, the hallway is too narrow for ghasts to spawn. So I think they need a five by five area to spawn in. Um and Endermen can't spawn in here because of this, because this is only two and a half blocks tall and they don't they need three blocks to spawn in. So so in here, standing up here, this space here, these three and these five aside, this is perfectly safe. It's completely spawn proof. Uh, magmas can't spawn because of the because of the half slabs. And I don't think they're light dependent anyway. Uh, and the and the yeah Enderman. So we got a safe passageway here. The only downside to doing this is you can't bring horses in here. Oh. Oh. Okay, finally, things are going to get interesting. Oh, and I'm also picking up some good uh, collections of quartz, nether quartz. Whoa! That's dramatic. Hi, Magma Cube. Cool. So, it finally gets interesting. I get to pull out the glass and we get to make uh, uh, views. That's right, I've got slight bits of gravel to deal with in some of these spots like there cool all right so let's get this going uh, let's get this quartz oh careful oh goodness gracious am I gonna be able to collect any of this uh, so yeah we'll get it oh so there we go. And I've got... <clears throat> oops. And I'm carrying fire resist potions on my on my hotbar. Just in case while I'm doing this I fall into a pool of lava. I can drink it and get away to safety. Wow. Okay. Cool. So let's get some more of this. I have to figure out how I transition to the glass. It's a little bit more scenic when you can actually see the nether you're traveling through, especially do it on rails. It only lasts until I get over to that part, but you know, at least there's some. Cool. Let me get this set up, and I'll get this loaded. I'll have to load up with more materials. Let me get some of the glass glass line tube set up, and we'll show you that. So here we go. Now we're bridging out over the sea of lava. Uh, and this is and this is how we we're, we're doing that. And we got this awesome lava fall over there. So each basically each uh, each block forward in the nether here takes several blocks of uh, of stone, stone bricks, which again, the world is made of stone, so. It's not that bad. I have tons and tons of it. It's not that big of a deal. And I can build a little stone generator if I really needed it, but I don't think so. Um, there we go. So I build out a little bit like this, and then we'll get over there, and then again, when we get to that area with the gravel there, then we'll have to start tunneling back in. I don't want to go too far at once, though, because then that gives stuff an opportunity to spawn, and they become a bit of a pain to deal with. The pigmen do. So, 
when I'm outside like this, I'm putting glass in on the sides, a couple blocks tall on the sides, and so you can see out. I like using the red because it complements the color of the nether because the nether is largely red, so we're not coloring it in any way. So we go a couple blocks there, and then I do um, one, two, three, four, and then I do glass in there so you can kind of see up. And I'm putting lights in every five blocks. Completely arbitrary, but it seems to work in terms of giving reasonable amounts of lighting. And let's put one more glass there just to block that up. And then I put stone bricks in the side here. And honestly, I don't care if stuff spawns on top of the tunnel so much. Uh, near the nether fortress I do, but I think I, think I showed what I did there, I just went and put wood buttons on top of all the blocks and that keeps stuff from spawning. So that works. There we go. And of course, as I get this blocked off, this helps because then the gas can't see you and the gas can't shoot at you. Uh, if the gas do shoot at you, they can break these glass blocks, no problem. And they can, they can break all kinds of stuff. So, and of course I've got a good amount of sand from digging out, well, clearing out the desert by by the uh, the pyramid. Woo! So now this section's done and I can go and slab the floor. Uh, so yeah, clearing out, flattening out the, the desert to make the pyramid. Uh, I've got I've got a lot of I got a lot of sand, so I was able to smelt that in mass to make all this uh, glass, and then uh, we can go and uh, red dye is relatively easy to come by. So there we go. I just need to make sure I have enough of everything as I continue to bridge out over the Nether. But now this section is safe, and you can see what's going on. Kind of nice and panoramic. And when I put in the rail, which I'll probably put it on this side to start with, you can, as you're riding along, you can see what's going on. Not bad. So, and if I get far enough away, this little guy will probably despawn. I can probably stop worrying about him at some point. Looks like he may have already despawned. So let me get some more. Oh, there's a gas. have to be a little careful of the gas. Is it some work in here? Because I might have to repair damage if he shoots at me, but let's see if I can get him. Let's see if we can see him. Of course, the gas can be just about anywhere. Their sound carries hugely. Like all this up here, there might be a, a large gap above it. Where it is. Okay, don't know. So let's lay out more. Now the cool thing is about gas, when they shoot at you, you have plenty of time to react. Because they shoot at where you are, they don't try to lead their shots at all. So you can just run as long as you're, when you hear them shoot, as long as you start moving and keep moving, you'll, you, they will not hit you. So they're not all that dangerous, really. And I've got fire resistance on my boots, I think. Actually, the gas shots might might need blast resistance, which I don't know that I have. And given how many times I've died to creepers, blast resistance probably wouldn't be a bad thing. One, two, three, four. So anyway. This is how I build my tunnels through the nether. <laughs> and we're like so, little tiny progress, bits at a time, and the 50 blocks. So since I started back there, 50 blocks. So it's just a matter of making as much progress little by little. It's a little tedious, but it's also, it's also a kind of a nice activity to do while you're watching TV. Or whatever. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, well I think think that, that will do it. 
Oh, the pooches are wanting to eat. And Chihuahua Power G is back from her hair appointment, so we have to start planning for our trip, which we leave on Monday. So I need to pack and and um, figure out what we're gonna bring. Figure out, finish figuring out our schedule and all that good stuff. So there we go. So anyway, hope that was at least a little informative and not terribly entertaining. I will keep working on this and when 1.13 comes out, I will choose a somewhat arbitrary point, stop building, put in a portal, and then, oops, and then, uh, can I get down there? Yeah, I want to get rid of this lava fall because it's going to be a problem. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, la, uh, portal. So I'll stop at some point, a couple thousand blocks out, build a portal, and then see where it comes out on the other end. It'll be an adventure. Cool. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. This has been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.